another one. Testing AI. I want to get into testing AI. I have started the ISTQB testing AI course. But wondered what the next step should be. Well, all right. Stop being petty. Stop being petty. Okay. What are the tools that are most popular for creating AI? Should I try and get experience with working with those? I should have been petty. I should have been petty on that one. So, but guess what? Why can't I be petty now? So you started with the ISTQB course, but you're asking what should be your next step. I think your first step should have been what you're, what you're asking now. What are the tools that are most popular for creating AI? Well, how much uh, AI have you used? Have you played around with um, ChatGPT yet? Have you played around with the other AI tools? Like there are so many AI tools around that give you, um, they, they give you free trials and stuff like that, right? You can do AI with voice. You can do, um, <clears throat> like you can type a script, right? And then you can have the AI um, read it in like different voices. Like you can choose whether the gender that you want, you can choose the accent that you want. You can like do all that stuff, right? So, um, I would say first, I would start off with like finding a different type of AI that exists, right? Um, because when you go to test AI, you're like, there's not only one type of AI, right? There's the chat GPT type of AI, right? But think about this AI workflow, right? I need a script and I say, okay, chat GPT, give me the script for, um, I don't know, give me a, give me a script for like intro to like, a hook for a video, right? And then it gives me the hook. Now I say, okay, I need a, I need a, um, I want a British woman's voice to do the hook for me, right? And then I go, I find a tool for, um, I find a tool for that. And then I go and I put the script in there and then I have her read it. And then I say, okay, I can, I can speed it up. I can slow it down and all that. And now I have a cool British woman who is reading the script for me to introduce the video, right? There are so many different levels of AI that you can't just say, you can't just say, oh, um, I want to test AI because there's a, there's going to be a way to test the the um, text to speech with the voice um, reading it, right? There's going to be a way to test the script that's being like, however they they did the testing for OpenAI for ChatGPT. There's a way for that, right? And whenever I hear ISCQB, what I the first like I, may, maybe I'm wrong. I doubt it, but maybe I'm wrong about this. But whenever I hear ISCQB, the only thing that gets triggered in my mind is certification. All they want is a certification to say, oh, I took this class. If you enjoyed the fascinating AI, information great. shared in this but, video and you want more, be sure to hit the subscribe button like, like to I tag Coach Ralph past, to like, be notified for new videos. You should, see, like, you should see the progress. You should see the progress that the, like, in a different Discord, a QA Discord, right? Of um, some people that that I I talk to, I help, I answer questions for, right? They were so ISTQB heavy back in the days, but now if you see the work that they're doing and the questions that they ask and like the, the way they answer things, the, the API work they're doing, the, like just development stuff in general, you'd be like, wow, like this is a big, big jump. So, once you get your mind off of like certification, 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 right? Because there's, there's only been like very few jobs that are talking about ISTQB certifications. And usually those jobs are like government jobs, contracted jobs, because they don't know anything about QA in the first place. So they, so they trust the ISTQB to be able to get them to that step. Oh, great. Anyways, um, where's good guy would need them. Right. So they, so they trust these, these certifications. Right. But to me, the first step is always diving into the chaos. Shout out to chaos camp.
the first step is diving into like building something, finding something that's existing, install it or going to use it and figuring out how it works, right? And then you say, okay, this is how it works. How can I break it? You want to know how to break it, right? Because at the end of the day, testing, like exploratory testing is about breaking stuff, seeing how it works, knowing the ins and outs about it, <clears throat> asking questions, you know? So the different tools that there are, you want to know how to use them. They're, like, I'll give you an example of another AI tool, right? <clears throat> I used to create it. I used to use it to create shorts, right? And you would take the, the video, you could either upload a video or you take the, the YouTube URL and you post the short inside of the inside of the video right and um well you, you paste a video of the, the youtube url and then it's going to generate shorts for you with captions and everything right that is another type of ai tool because it, there's some algorithm that's taking the the, the video it's no it's, it's able to determine like what parts of it should be important it even had a rating scale to it and everything like that right so the way that you would like there's so many like it's not based on just there's no way to test AI in general. You have to go to like the strategy of the um, the software. Like you have to work with the software developers to see, okay, how is this being built? Where are the where are the um, the frameworks that are being part of it? What are the packages? So, like for instance, if there's Open AI that's being put into it, if there is a um, if there like there's got to be some type of um, video processing behind it, like FFmpeg or um, God, uh, CV2, I think it's called. Uh, there's got to be some type of audio processing. Uh, there's got to be a text to speech or a speech to text type thing. And all of those things are different components that have, um, that's going to need to be tested. So there's not a one size fits all course that's going to, that's going to figure that out because new technology is being developed every day, right? So, and I'll give you an example the company that I work for, right? There's so many different components, so many different QA testing teams that like I work on a very specific component of the app of, of our of our um, software testing that. But then there's other teams that work on totally different things. And then all that testing gets together. But I have no idea about their test cases and stuff like that. And they have no idea about mine. Right. And that's why and that's why um, it has to be specific to um, to whatever it is they work on. So what I would say is get. <clears throat> what I'll say is get familiar with like choose something, right? So and and like choose something and then start using that. See, okay, how can I and to me, I think the best way to learn is to build, right? The best way to learn is to build. So many times we're stuck in theory and we want to say, okay, let me read a book about it, let me listen to a podcast about it and everything like that. But get your hands dirty. Build, build, build. And then what I would say from there is, um, so now, like for instance, when we did the, the, the AI automation um, tool, Code Steps, right? It, it uses AI to, um, to like help you build your, your automated tests. Take something like that, right? Um, just use the stuff, right? And then say, okay, for example, one of the challenges on Chaos Camp was the audio challenge, right? Where you would pass an, an audio file and then it would be able to extract um, like all types of metadata and stuff like that, which I'm pretty sure there's a, I'm pretty sure that there is a library that should be able to like extract lyrics from a, um, from a audio file, right? So, so many different tools that, like, and, and all like, AI is, it takes all of these things, it puts it together, and then it, it researches like through the, like ChatGPT will go on all these different resources and databases to be able to, to put it together. So there's a lot of data engineering involved. There's a lot of data science involved. There's a lot of um, testing of the different particular packages and the application that you're using, right? There's not a one size fits all for, for AI testing. It's going to be very, very specific. But like I said, where I would start off if I wanted to learn how to test AI would be to go with um, just trying out different type of AI things and Google, right? I wouldn't be worried about getting a certification yet. I would be worried about um, 
how do I do things? And once you figure out how to do things, then you will be on the path to success. <laughs> If you enjoyed the fascinating information shared in this video and you want more, be sure to hit the subscribe button to Tech Coach Ralph to be notified for new videos.